Welcome back everybody. This is Jack again from HyperCycle, Product Development Manager. Um, today I have an exciting demo to show you because we know we've heard you ask when compute, when compute. And I can tell you today that uh, I'm in a position where we can show you a demonstration of compute being performed thanks to the HyperCycle network. And we're going to dive into this uh, demo right now with you. Okay, let's get to it. So the, the first thing I would like to show you is on the user request side, because as you know, HyperCycle connects users, consumers, and not operators. So you can see here that I'm inside the voice board demo and I've connected my wallet. So let me show you again. Let's just refresh the page. So this is what you are going to see. You connect your wallet to the, to the to the AI model, and it's going to load the complete interface for you. And the first thing you can see here is that the front end of this interface is actually representing an AI model that is a text-to-speech um, model that is currently hosted on HyperCycle node on precisely a HyperCycle node AI machine. And this interface, uh, interface lets me as a user interact with, uh, with the node operator and request, my, uh, request the node for a service. So as you can see, there is a place where I can enter the text that I would like uh, to be transformed in audio. And then I can select which type of uh, voice model I would like to apply to this text. Uh, I can select a few celebrities. So maybe we, we can select a Robert De Niro. Um, and the first thing I would like to show you guys is that uh, this interface not only allows you to configure it how you want to prompt your text uh, in order to receive your audio output, but also there is a payment interface whose goal is uh, to allow payments directly to the node operator who's responsible for computing your request and sending the results back to you. So the first step I need to do as a user, as a consumer of the network, is to show proof of payment. And the only way to do that as a user is, of course, to send some money to the node operator. So let's do that. Let's say I am willing to send $1 worth of USDC um, to pay for this uh, text-to-speech uh, AI model. So I'm going to hit Send. This is the only time where I'm asked to pay for the fees of the deposit in Ethereum. So I'm going to do that just once. Then I'm going to wait for the payment deposit to be transferred into the node. So you can see here, for example, that the estimate cost price per prompt is at one cent. And my current balance is at zero dollar because, okay, you can see that now I have one dollar worth of USD deposited into the node, which means that I'm able now to request the service, pay for it, and receive the output. So let's try another. Let's try another prompt this time. Let's say uh, Robert De Niro wants to to say this, for example, you think you can compute behind my back without me knowing it. And this time, let's, let's hit uh, speak. Again, I'm sending a message with my wallet, but I'm not paying any extra fees. I just uh, have to pay, uh, just had to pay for one time during the deposit. So I hit confirm. You can see that the node is requested to process the request. And it's also verifying if the payment this time has been, um, has been deposited. So we can wait for the verification. We have the estimate cost per prompt, depending on the, on the amount of the, uh, on the length of my, of my text, uh, that has a bit, uh, okay. Okay. So I got cut by Robert De Niro, but. If you can hear my speakers, I'm going to put it a bit louder. You think you can compute behind my back without me knowing it? Okay, this is a bit frightening, right? But um, there, you can see that um, that the output has been sent to my to my uh, to my wallet. So 
I can not only hear the output. You think you can compute behind my back without me knowing it? And I wouldn't recommend you to compute behind, uh, you know, the neuro's back. Um, but I can, I can play it. I can play the, the output. So this is good. But I can also download it as an audio dot wav file, and I can make use of this uh, file as a fit. And the other interesting thing is that if I want to change uh, the voice model of this uh, speech, um, I can just uh, hit uh, another another actor. Let's go with Halle Berry. And let's try again. Let's ask to process this output this time. Again, I'm not paying when clicking on, on speak because I already paid for that. There is still 98 cents available into the node. So again, the node is checking if the payment has been processed with the request. Otherwise, it's not going to apply the, the activation of the, uh, of the computation uh, on, the, on the hype cycle node to, to process my... You think you can compute behind my back without me knowing it? Okay, we can hear it You think again, you can you compute want. behind my back without me knowing it? Okay, thanks, Harley. So again, I can always download this uh, this voice output and and I can just keep on going uh, as long as I have money to to pay for this service so this only illustrates um that you can not receive a service if you don't pay for it but it's also showing that you can certainly use this vo this uh, voice board model as a node operator as some sort of pay as you go service because um as compared as uh, some of the centralized ai models that we have that we know uh, nowadays uh, this service for example if i only need to use this service two times for a fraction of a penny i could just use it as a user and be done with it without having to pay every month uh, uh, a bigger fee for using a service that i don't usually use for for my day-to-day -day life so this is um, an interesting model because it can show you that uh, as a consumer, you can find exactly what you want on the network and just pay for what you need, uh, which is uh, very competitive uh, in the current uh, AI consumer field. And what we can check also on the node operator side is we can verify that actually the payment has been deposited into the node's wallet address because we need to check that this is happening on chain and not uh, just a front uh, front end demo uh, showcasing uh, someone like me clicking on some buttons and waiting for a response uh, so let's go and check that let's uh, refresh this so we can see that i've made a transfer of the payment here one usdc worth to this uh, wallet address that is actually tied to the node hypercycle node that is running the AI model and that is connected to a hardware machine uh, which is actually providing the computation for the AI model that is sent back to you as a consumer. So you can track uh, everything that you do with this node uh, the moment you have sent uh, a transaction to this node. So this, um, this, this demo is just an example on how to generate some revenue as a node operator using an AI model and building a front on top of it, or using an existing front, of course, and also how, as a consumer, as a user of the HypeCycle network, you can request some output. Granted, you are willing to pay for the service. And of course, uh, we have multiple AI models that are hosted on uh, our node uh, admin panel for every node operator. And we can also uh, integrate any AI model that is open source. We can also integrate some uh, personal AI model that belong to, um, to some AI developers and who are willing to work with us. So it's a, it's a fully integrated uh, platform for, for running AI, uh, AI models. And this demo for, for, for you today, guys, was only to show you a certain aspect of the hypercycle uh, uh, communication because 
as you know, we are also able to let one AI model request the service from another AI model on the network, hosted on another node. And you can receive as a user the output, a better output that comes from the combination of the two communication between uh, the communication between the two nodes. So this will be presented in another demo. Right now, um, we can show you this one. And we are going to roll out this demo for everyone in the public in a few, in a few days. Uh, we let the internal testers uh, finalize the testing right now. And then we are going to, uh, to share the, the, the link of this app uh, to everyone so you can have fun and play with that. And also part of the part of the mission is also to allow node operators to easily plug their AI models onto their nodes uh, AIMs, and also for the box owners as well uh, for the H1, H2, uh, H3, of course. So we have a lot of things to show you, but this uh, this demo was uh, was a showcase. Uh, of uh, what we can do right now with a single model and how it's allowing people to pay and receive some outputs. Uh, that was all for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.